while I'm exploring up along this mountain road and I saw, look over here, across this stream is a wooded area over there and I really think, you can't see it I don't think, I really think that I can see something that looks like uh, piles of wood back there. If someone had piled it, that's just the kind of thing that would key me off for a little bit of a impromptu band in Japan exploration. Let's make sure I'm all buckled up. I'm gonna go get, get across the river and go see. Are you game? Come with me. Let's go. First thing we gotta do is uh, jump down here carefully. <clears throat> now the uh, stream is way down. Is this what, netting? Farmer's netting something? Oh, the river is way low, so I can get across pretty easily. I'm uh, pretty high up in the mountains. It's really cold today. 2nd of uh, January, 2012. <laughs> this, is, uh, this stream is normally for a pretty good torrent in the summer. I can get across with a, a one leap. Usually this whole area here would be filled with uh, raging water. It's, uh, the cave area there, look at that. The sand deposits. I could go around that way, but I always prefer to get right into it as quick as I possibly can. Let's, uh, let's get into it. I see what looks like a big rock. You never know though. Anything that looks out of place should is worthy of investigation. Okay, it's time to start getting cut up now. These, these uh, sharp sticks will cut your legs up pretty quick. Uh, looks like we're going to have to cross some water again. Let's go up on top of this thing. Uh, tripod. If you're going to do this kind of stuff, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, get yourself a tripod that is really strong. You can use it as a walking stick uh, as well as a tripod. You can also use it to beat off the bears. No wonder the water seems so low. It's on this side. <laughs> Most of the water's over here. This is curious. A little flat area. You know, nature has a way of uh, taking back what was once hers. <sighs> so, uh, even stuff, even if humans were over here at one time, It'd be very easy that it doesn't look like it anymore. That's going to be tricky to get across there. Huh. You know what, I bet I can hop across here, like that. Let's give that a try, shall we? First we're going to get on this boulder. And also get a good camera. This is aluminum, this tripod, which means that it won't, uh, I can get it wet and uh, it won't rust. I've had it out completely saturated before. I could climb on that log up there. I think I can get across here. It's just hard with the phone. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I've got one hand here. You gotta keep one hand free in case, in case you fall, right? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. This is something I've never ever done before to anybody on my channel. I'm gonna put you in my pocket for just a second because I need a free hand in case I slip, okay? So sit in my pocket for just a second while I clamber across here, and then we'll resume. And my apologies for putting it in my pocket. Okay, here we go. I close the camera up. Keep your face in my pocket. Not that pocket. Don't turn it off. Okay, here we go. Maybe you can still hear me talking. Here we go. We clambered onto the rock. It's Slippery, wow. Whoa, very slippery. Here we go. And jump. Is it still recording? <laughs> Is it still recording? It's still recording, sorry. Uh, that was slippery. That rock right there, man. I needed the tripod in the water there and my footsie there to leap off. I'm sorry about putting it in my pocket. There we go. Now, one thing to look for when you are in a place like this is look for walls. 
retaining walls. I don't see any sign of walls in here. The good thing is, even if you don't, even if we don't find any anything uh, of human interest, there's always lots of stuff of natural interest. There's an animal trail right there. Whoa! Can you see a little uh, vestigial animal trail? Can I use the word vestigial when referring to an animal trail? Maybe. Okay, I definitely see something over there. Could be just a rock, though. Now this would be really good land for a farmer to use this flat bit of land which is pretty rare up here and we're close to a couple of abandoned farms where this kind of land would have been well appreciated but I don't see it there's the thing I think I saw which is just a rock now here's something curious, there's something out of place. Somebody's been over here. This, if you look at all these trees, these are uh, cedar trees. Do you see any bamboo anywhere? Any bamboo groves? No, I don't. But yet, there's a bamboo uh, pole stuck in the ground. Not only just a bamboo pole, but a bamboo pole that's been cut by a farmer and stuck into the ground for some reason. So somebody's been back here. We're on to, oh, look at that. What is going on here? What are you doing? That, that plant is moving all by its, just started rattling all over the place, all by itself. Just stopped when I brought the camera over. Okay, I'm finding more stuff. Okay, there it goes again. What is going on? What is going on? I'm not kidding you. I, I went around, I moved the camera around and that plant went nuts. Okay, I'm finding, Signs of uh, humanity all around now. I'm looking carefully. Okay, here, right over here. Can you see it? Can you see what I'm seeing? Now, if you were a fan of Blair Witch, you might think that this looks suspiciously spooky. Look at this. These uh, plants appear to have they've been aligned in like a teepee fashion. Now, I guess it's possible that that could be just a random natural occurrence, but sure does look like it's been arranged in some way, doesn't it? So we have two sus suspect elements. That, this bamboo pole, this tree, this bush over here that's now not moving at all that was previously going wild when I wasn't filming it. Let's keep looking. Uh, here's a bamboo. So I, my, my, my idea could be off. Look at that. There are indeed bamboo coming out. Look, here's the bamboo. What are you doing in this cedar forest bamboo? It's too tough a life for you. I'm seeing bamboo all over the place now, so I could be wrong, but that was definitely cut, wasn't it? Definitely, definitely cut. I'm seeing bamboo here and there now, everywhere. That was not a natural break. So up there, maybe? It's great to actually get in the forest. You know, you can see the forest for the trees, so to speak. What might be up there? So far, nothing of any particular human interest. What is this? Okay, there's a neat looking tree. This root, look at this. This thing is elevated, isn't it? Look at that. Look how this tree is <clears throat> elevated off the ground. It hasn't been cut, it was broken off. I think I see some bits of abandoned farm over there. Hmm. house right over there. Can you see that? That's, that's an abandoned farm. Very uh, impressive abandoned farm. Now, don't ask me why. It's, it's a farm that for some reason I just can't get near. I've been eyeballing it for 
nine years now. Let's climb up here. There's a little remnant of a trail here. An eyeball in that farm for nine years. Something about it. It's the most intact, complete abandoned farm I've ever seen in Japan. There's something about it that keeps me away from it. I don't think that's going to change. Wow. It's extensive, I know. I know what you guys are thinking. Come on, Kurt, show us the abandoned farm. <laughs> I wish I could describe it to you. The time may come, the day may come when I could show it to you. Look at this tree, does a, a loop-de-loop. -loop. It's like it was, doo -doo 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 -doo, let's reach for the sky. Zowza, loop-de-loop -loop time. And go up and then it died. That's what you get for your, see? It died, that's what you get for being different. <gasps> Hold on, give me, give me a moment. Give me a moment. What was that? Found a grave. I'm not kidding you, man. Uh, my, my, my legs are weak right now. I've never had that happen before. Been out in the middle of the woods like this. And found a grave like that. Rest this here. You stay here, don't fall. You, I'll jump out of my skin if you fall. Okay, folks. I've never, I found graves in out, the outskirts of villages before. I've never found a grave in the middle of a forest. It's the first. Here we go. Let's take a look. How do you approach res with respect? Oh, this is what I saw that I thought was something stacked. This is a grave. No, I'm not a religious man, but I'm going to bow in respect. Someone's life. Your time ended here. Someone stacked up rocks here. There's not one grave. There are one, two, three graves and a Jizo, a headless Jizo. Okay, can you see? There's, it's got everything in it. One grave, two, three, and a headless Jizo. Let's start with the Jizo and work our way over. Well, let's start with this, the opposite. Let's start with a grave and work our way over. This could be a, a monument stone as well. I feel really, really, really awkward. Okay, this is a carved stone. Someone's name. There might be right here on the other side as well. Some figure there. Over here. This, I can't see anything on there. And, there's the, and here's the statue. This is a Jizo. Jizo, as you may have heard me say, is an all purpose saint in Japan. Saint of women, children, travelers, firemen even. It's missing its head. I'll bet you the head's around here somewhere. Once found a head. In the, in the woods, I once found a head. And uh, it belongs in the collection of a man that I, I, I care about a great deal in the United States. I sent it to him. 
said uh, he put it in his will. When he dies, he's going to have it sent back to me. The head that I found in the woods. It's to a statue like this. Okay. Wow, now I know. Now I understand why there's no cultivation here. This is a family cemetery. This forest is a family tomb, so to speak, for a family that's utterly forgotten. For a family that's utterly gone. The family is at this farm over here. Maybe and this is why I've always been so hesitant to approach this farm. I don't know. Can you see it over here through the woods? And I will not approach it. There's, this is a, a complete farm with fields, terraces, wasabi, wasabi terraces, uh, several out structures, at least two main buildings by the stream here. And I've been watching it for years and I've never approached it. And I only came into the forest here thinking I'd find something interesting, not knowing that I'd find something related to it. You can actually see the edge of the terraces here. You see over here how they come up there? <sighs> Just a little bit closer, that's it. A little bit closer, I'm going to go to this tree. This is as close as I'm going to get. To show you this, just a glimpse of this abandoned farm. That's it. That's it. I'm done. This is uh, too much for me. You know, I'm a chronicler of what I see. I'm not a trespasser. I'm not a, an interloper. I'm not a... <clears throat> The file of memories and everything. I'm gonna try to show you one last glimpse of this grave. A grave, a lonely grave in the mountains. Gotta take a photo with the SLR. One shot, then I'm out of here. No flash, please. That's it, one photo, I'm done. One humble bow. Out of respect, and we're gone. Oh my gosh, look at this, a rice bowl. Look at this, our teacup. This was probably the teacup that belonged to one of the persons that is buried here. Japanese do that, they leave teacups at people's graves. I don't know what else is here. The head of the statue. Get the tripod. Let's go. Let's go. Now, don't confuse my anxiety for fear, and it's not that I'm embarrassed about being afraid. I, I often am afraid in the mountains. I often am anxious. I'm often confused and concerned. That's not what's going on here now. And it's not a, a sense of spooks or ghosts or anything like that. It's just a matter of the immensity, the, the awesome scale of discovery, the awesome realization of life that went on in this valley and is now gone and passed literally and in every other way. The people that have once made their living here, once tilled this land and called this valley their home, and they're gone. And their homes are winding into the forest and they're even their ashes and the stones of their memory are fading as well. And all that's left is a chance encounter once in a while. Perhaps some memory of these uh, roots boring into the ground and just barely uncovered, just like the people's lives that I'm uncovering. That's it. I'm turning the camera off. I hope it won't suffer you to go in my pocket again. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me so much. I really, really do appreciate it. It means a lot to, so much to have you come along. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Make it a wonderful life. You know, the memories that you have now, one day they'll, they'll just be a, a little res residual 
stone in the forest, and then eventually one day that'll be gone too. Okay. Okay.